Hey everyone, welcome back to Tavern Sports Cards. Greg here, grab a brew, pull up a chair, and let's do another mystery pack. <laughs> this is a, another eBay mystery pack. This is the second one I'm doing. Um, had okay success on the last one. Got some pretty decent cards. And I decided to do another one. Um, and I will post some of the information down below and on the screen. This particular eBay, it was called Football Card Mystery Pack. And the seller was Jane, uh, Jermaine F. Um, he had like 1,200 positive, 100% positive reviews, over 1,200. Um, there was 41 total uh, in this mystery pack lot. And uh, I think when I bought it, uh, it was about half sold. It's fully sold out now. Um, but some of the information, and I'll pop it up on the screen here, um, supposedly every pack contains one hit, which is either an auto or a jersey, uh, 10 rookie cards per pack, uh, one big name quarterback, um, and then it says Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Tua, Jordan Love, Deshaun, Kyler Murray, and Trevor Lawrence, and then three plus bonus number insert cards, and one random sealed pack, which I found kind of interesting. Most of these don't typically come with a sealed pack, so we'll kind of see what that is. Um, like I said, I, was, I probably bought about one right about in the middle of this, so, um, and I'm opening this up live with you this time, because uh, I was able to recognize the label and, and where it was from, so let's take a look. Oh, I almost forgot to say, the price that I paid on this was $20. So this was $20, so that's about the cost of a blaster. So we'll see what kind, I mean, I was kind of basically trusting off of this guy's reviews, basically. Um, so let's see here, we got a pack here. Looks like he has some other stuff in here. It's in a little Ziploc bag. Take a look, pull it out here, and let's see what all we got. And it's, he has a little thanks thing here says thanks for your purchase if you have any questions concerns please don't hesitate to contact us and then it has a jf breaks jamin f so there's the the ebay for this particular guy um and it looks like we got a couple packs here um so we got a pack of score 2020 so we'll take a look at that and then we have some here this is kind of sealed up so yeah, I'm not sure what's what here, but let's take a look here. Let's, I guess let's just tear, I don't know which one of these is supposed to be the, I'm taking it with those are the, the hits, so to speak. So let's take a look what we got in here real quick. All right, so we got a Red Hat Rookies, Brandon Ayuk right here from the 49ers. Pretty nice card. We got a Henry Ruggs rookie. So it looks like he got all the rookies in here, possibly. And that's in the legacy set. We got Illuminance here, Brian Edwards from the Raiders. Sean Wade, this is from Chronicles. I think I've already gotten a couple of that card. And a Quiddy Pay. And then we got a Kylan Hill Prism from the Prism draft picks here. I'm not sure what team he went to. I kind of forget. We got a Nick Chubb rookie. It's a nice one to get. And we got a JJ Arcega Whiteside. Not familiar with him at all, to be honest. It's not ringing a bell. And a Sterling Shepard. And then we got a Damian Harris Josh Jacobs. I know Josh Jacobs is with the Raiders, I believe. Alabama. This is Panini draft pick contenders from 2019. So that was, I guess that was basically the, the what was it, the 10 rookie cards? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so that was the 10 rookie cards. All right, so then let's take a look here at what we got on this one. So far, those rookies, none of those were some really, really good rookies, but... We'll take a look at what we get here, and then we'll see what we got in the pack less last kind of thing. All right, so we got an Antonio Brown, and this is a Phoenix. 118 of 299. Okay, I mean, it's a nice looking card. Looks pretty clean. We got an Auden Tate Prestige, and this is a Galaxy, I believe, Hyper from the H2 box. 
So not too bad. We got a Julio Jones prism. And I believe that's like a 2019, 2019 prism. And then we got a Brian Harrion prism draft picks auto. And I do not know who he is. I'll pop it up on the screen. Um, but I do not know who that is offhand. And then we got a Joe Burrow, Justin Jefferson, Pinini Contenders draft picks. So, yeah, I mean, hmm, that's a rough one. This is a rough one so far. Um, so slightly underwhelmed. Let's see if somehow the randomness of a pack can, can uh, <laughs> increase the value. I mean, for 20 bucks, though, honestly, eh, I just wish I would have got a better rookie out of those rookie cards. I mean, those rookies, I mean, I didn't really hit any. I mean, none of those rookies were, I mean, there wasn't anything. N nobody is like a big time starter. There were several defensive players. I mean, you got a Henry Ruggs on the legacy, but I mean, a lot of defensive players and whatnot. I don't know. That was rough. Um, all right, so let's take a look here. We got Mason Rudolph. What? This was a 2020 again score. James White, Corey Davis, Fletcher Cox, Patrick Peterson, Austin Hooper. Then we got a Kelvin Ingram Gold. I know that's a rarer version there, but it's a linebacker card, so take it with a grain of salt. 3D, we got Earl Thomas, Marcus Peters, and Marlon Humphrey, three defensive players on the Ravens. Uh, we got a Mike Evans in the zone, a DeAndre Swift rookie card. I mean, he's with the Lions. That's not a bad card. A Jalen Hurts rookie card. That's not a bad card. And a James Robinson running back. And it escapes me who he's with. But the rookies to get Jalen Hurts and DeAndre Swift, that's not too bad. I mean, if I would have got a couple of these in the in the rookies, <laughs> I might have been all right. But um yeah, that's that's that. So, I, yeah, my impression on this one, definitely not as good as the last one. I mean, honestly, probably two of the better cards I hit was in this pack, uh, <laughs> to be honest, with the Andre Swift and the Jalen Hurts autos, uh, or uh, rookie cards, I mean. But anyway, hey, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose on the mystery packs. You take your chances. For 20 bucks, uh, I would say that was fair. I wouldn't say it was great or bad. I'd just say it was fair. So anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. Give me any comments that you have about the mystery pack. I will make sure to post the information down below. And thanks for joining me in the tavern. See you next time.